for staying with us. We actually have lots of newcomers in the in the building. Hello, guys. If you're your first time here, say hello. Hi. Oh, you're good to welcome. have you. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate you. Now, Duffel Primo Foods, the makers of Indomie noodles, is here again to appreciate youngsters below 15 who have actually done something heroic and amazing. Hence, they created the Indomie Independence Day Awards. So today we have a 20-year-old, but <laughs> she, she was 12 years old. Her name is Treasure Obasi, who had become a TV presenter against the odds of losing her father. And she is the 2010 second place winner in Indomie Independence Day Award. Also, we have the public relations and events manager, Duffel Premier Foods Group, Mr. Tokwe Ashiwaji. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You can, you can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweet. So let me start with you, Treasure. Yeah. You're 12 years old. Tell us what happened and how Indomie identified you as a, a, a child winner. Okay, thank you. Um, I was 12 years old at the time, and I started the show, Young Inventors, as a presenter uh, when I was nine. So the show had been on for a while, and then suddenly one day someone called my mom and said I had been nominated for an award. I didn't even apply. They just found me. Right. That's, the, that's the thing I love most about this award and the, the platform. They find you okay. doing what you're doing. So then they said I had won. And as at that time, it was still first place, second place, third place. But over the years, it became categories. The social um, okay. bravery category, intellectual bravery category, and the physical bravery category. So <laughs> my own um, award would have fallen under the intellectual bravery. And as at the time, I lost my father. Mm -hmm. I lost my dad a year before that when I won the award. I lost my dad when, he was, when I was 11 years old. And um, naturally, things became a bit tougher it became it, it was harder you know growing up school and all that so this award and then the prize money scholarship came just in the niche of time so why did you so start that show what exactly was the objective of starting the tv show? i always had the passion for presenting and an opportunity came and my mom my mom encouraged me to grab it so that's how it started let me come to you for that okay. come to the ladies mrs okwe what about her tv show made her Qualified. qualified for that mm. okay as, as of then you know we had it in mind that we are also going to uh, segment all these things so it wasn't actually that we just wanted to keep um, awarding physical okay. bravery acts alone we knew there's so many other um, attributes out there that people were doing so what we did was that okay we said okay let's look at other areas intellectual capabilities of people so of course we ran through so many uh, uh, so, so many uh, interviews mm -hmm. and of course in finding her we knew that oh this is a girl who definitely was out there facing the crowd facing cameras and we saw that oh there was something in her that we could encourage mm -hmm. and of course amongst many other stories that we got she also passed through the um, segment of okay having to go to the judges sitting and of course they, they found that okay she was overqualified and that's how big <laughs> she became winner and interestingly even as of then that she was entering unilag in that particular show she won a scholarship apart from the scholarship wow. the mm -hmm. amount true university. Mm. Wow. wow. Yeah. And, yeah. Right. and the scholarship was by Pastor Tinde Bakare because he's the yeah, one Pastor who Tindy yes, yes, he was the one who presented my award at that time. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So I wanted so, to know what your background is like. At nine, you wanted to be a presenter. What exactly did your parents put to get to in you? What kind of um, exposure did they give to you to assist that dream? Okay, or did you just get eloquent from, the, I, I, from your mother's <laughs> you know, kind I of I always things. loved reading. In fact, when I was three years old, I knew how to read. At the age of four, and I was in primary one, my, I would read newspapers to my mom and I would tell her to correct me in the words that I didn't know how to mm. pronounce well. So then I just developed that, you know, that passion for reading. And then watching television, I was always awed by, you know, presenters like you that would just keep talking and talking and talking <laughs> without even reading, at the, reading their books or looking at their papers, not knowing there was something like the teleprompter. I became fascinated with that world. Mm. And when I got the opportunity after my first acting job to audition for this presenting job, my mom went with me. My mom is my manager. She's, she's my no, biggest fan. She's you know my supporter. You know what? Even before you she continue, just... just you're hired here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, Thank I don't you. want to know where you're working. Thank you. I don't know what, where 
in your offices, <laughs> wherever your boss is telling that TBC yeah. has hired you. <laughs> on the spot, because you're amazing. Thank yeah. you so let me much. Let Veronica jump in. Uh, now, now, let me, let me, uh, my question is to you, uh, Mr. Tokwe. Yes. Now, all oh, eight years, how mm -hmm. has the reception been towards this award? Seeing that um, people don't have to put in, you decide to pick, and how do you go about mm -hmm. uh, that? What are the yardsticks okay, that okay. you use? It, it might not be totally... I'm right to say that people don't have in. These are things that you just don't want people to go acting. And that's why we said things that had happened in the past are things that we were looking for. Mm. So, it's, I mean, we keep encouraging people, if you have such stories, of course you can send it to our website, www.heroesofnigeria.com. Mm. So, I mean, stories like that are shared, and of course we sift through it, we pass it to the judges and they decide who becomes winner. And the level of acceptance, how, how have people accepted oh, this yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been growing bigger and bigger. I mean, this year alone, I mean, the judges are sitting uh, tomorrow, I think tomorrow 20th, mm -hmm. and um, we had well over 380 stories. Mm -hmm. And of course, we had so many stories, but we've been able to sit down and of course, we prone down so that, I mean, we judges are not also bored with those kind of stories that, oh, over and over again. yes. Okay, so, so I have the question for both of you. One, um, to you directly is the direct impact of in, um, the Indomie Award on your life. How did it boost you to becoming who you are? And I want to ask you that question, like, how many success stories? This is eight years, and I'm really happy that you're able to follow up with those that were recipients as far back as eight years ago, and you can still have a relationship with them. Yes. With other people that you've had relationships with, so we'll start with her, then we'll come to you. No problem. Okay, thank you. So the direct impact of Indomie in my life is it actually sponsored my education. Mm. My prize money was 750,000 naira in scholarship. And then I was attending a private school. So it was such a huge support in wow. paying my school fees. Mm -hmm. Plus the scholarship that was presented to me by Pastor Tunde Bakare mm -hmm. sponsored my education to, you know, I've obviously the 750 exhausted at a point after mm -hmm. paying school fees of every term, three mm -hmm. terms, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it actually encouraged me that if this talent that God has given me, I am here actualizing it, I'm here, you know, working with it and it, it, it actually provided these opportunities mm. for, for my education to be sponsored. Mm. So if I continue doing what I'm doing, who knows the possibilities that you know, mm. are gonna yeah. come up. Yeah. Yeah. So it really encouraged me, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay, like yes, and the past winners are so far we have uh, 37 winners, mm. and um, it's apart from these 37 major winners, of course, mm. we had other entries whereby we still follow up from time to time. And we have this pool the 37 winners are people who have become Indomie family. Right. Mm. We look after them, so it's not just that they have won right. and we have left them. Right. I mean, for instance, she's here right yeah. now, yes. even <laughs> one of those programs that we had done, right. uh, she had anchored the program right. alongside yes, three with, times. Uh, with, with some of the, nice. you know, <laughs> when you see such young girls like this, I mean, okay, even with all the talent, she still right. went into mass communication University mm, of Lagos. Fantastic. She's now a graduate. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> so it means us. I am <laughs> grabbing you like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like cheese on bread. But like, let me, let me just, okay. back to round up. Okay. okay. Um, I know the next batch is coming up very soon. October 13th is the awards. October 6th. 60th, actually. 6th. Six. Very, that's next week. Saturday. So I know that tomorrow also you're starting with the screening. So yes. how many have you shortlisted so far? I uh, shot 15. We have, oh. that we are presenting to the judges, we have 15 stories wow. that have been reenacted. Mm. Reenacted. Because, I mean, apart from just this script writing, right, I mean, right. you need to show visuals. Yeah. So we need to recreate what those people have done. But how many entries did you have in the beginning? 380. Wow, and now you brought down to 15. Yes. So you have those judges who you're getting from different How many winners would you have? And then we now have the fin finalists three. Yes. Mm. We presented awards on the 6th of October. On the October. 6th of October, Fantastic. Yes. Well done, Indomie. Thank you very much. So um, hopefully we'll see, we'll watch it TV on TVC, and um, we'll be able to know who won, and we'll bring the winners, yeah. the winners here yes. to celebrate with them. Mm. Thank you very much, Treasure. Thank you're you very welcome. much for having me. Stay tuned.